So the next topic is threaded boundary tray. Okay. So uh, what is the difference between a binary tree and a thread binary tree? Let us see what is the difference. So let us suppose we are having a binary tree. Okay. And the binary tree is something like this. This is the node, root node, which is storing one. This is the left subtree for this root node, which is storing ten. This is the right subtree for this no root node, which is storing thirteen. For this ten, this is the left subtree, which is storing nineteen. And this is the right subtree, which is storing thirty-two. And this is the left subtree for this thirteen, which is storing twenty. And this is the right subtree for this tree, uh, uh, this thirteen, which is two. Now, if you see in this binary tree, these pointers are actually left blank. They are not storing anything here. They are storing null because these are the leaf nodes. Okay, so these are the leaf nodes. We are wasting this space. We are not storing anything in this uh, left uh, pointer and the right pointer. We are not storing anything. So this space is actually wasted, right? And we can utilize this space in an effective way. right so how do we utilize this space we can make these spaces to point to some another, another node for example we can make this space to point to this node we can make this space to point to this node or we can make this space to point to this node and so on but the question is what is the effective way or what is the best way uh, to utilize this space right we cannot just make this space uh, this spaces or this empty pointers to point to any random node right the best way is uh, we have to get some kind of benefit from this right so to get the benefit from this free spaces we we created a concept of threaded binary tree in this threaded binary tree we are going to utilize these uh, spaces these uh, spaces where we are storing null okay and how we are going to utilize this we are going to using we are going to use these spaces to uh, store their in order predecessor and uh, predecessor and uh, successor okay so let us see how to do this for example you are having this binary tree and for this binary tree what is the in order in order is 9 32 uh, 10 1 i am less space here so let me just clear this up so for this given binary tree what is the in order in order is 9 this is 32 then we are having this 10 then it is 1 then it is uh, 20 then it is 2 and then it is 13 so this is the in order now if you see for this 9 what is this its uh, successor successor is 32 for this 32 what is the predecessor 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 is 9 and the successor is 10 so this is called as a predecessor and this is called as a successor okay now for this 10 what is the predecessor predecessor is actually 32 and this one is the successor for this one this is a predecessor and this is a successor for this two this is a predecessor and this is a successor so what we are going to do is in case of thread binary tree we are going to store the addresses of the predecessor and successor of a given node uh, in in this null spaces so wherever we can find a null spaces we can easily use this space to store the predecessor and the successor okay so assume this is the binary tree it is 1 and it is storing 10 okay it is 13 it is storing 9 it is storing 32 it is storing 20 and it is storing 2 okay now in this spaces if you see for this 9 the successor is 32 therefore here in this case i'm going to store oh uh, i've done a mistake here uh, it should be it is wrong it is 9 10 32 and then 1 20 1 20 13 and 2 so this should be actually uh, the in order so here i have done a little mistake okay so uh, for this 9 what is 
the successor successor is 10 therefore this 9 should store the address of this node for this 10 what is the successor successor is 32 so this 10 is not actually these spaces are not blank because we have to only use the spaces in the blank nodes okay where uh, the left right left subtree or the right subtree is blank okay so we are going to check for this 32 now if you check this 32 for this 32 the predecessor is 10 and the successor is 1 right therefore the predecessor is 10 therefore this should this point should point to this 10 and this point should point to this 1 okay now the next is 20 for this 20 the predecessor is 1 and the successor is 13 so it is going to point to this 1 and this next part is going to point to this 13 right for this 2 uh, there is only one predecessor which is 13 so this point should point to this part right so this is the red binary tree now if you see in this threaded binary tree these spaces are still empty this space and this space they are still empty and we have to identify how can we effectively use these spaces okay so now let us see what is the structure of a threaded binary tree and then we will see how we can utilize this space okay so for this thread binary tree the structure looks something like this struct threaded binary tree node okay and it is containing containing struct threaded binary tree thread binary tree node star left and it is containing int l tag so we will see what is the L tag and this R tag also and it is containing int data int R tag and we are having struct threaded binary tree node star write ok so this is the structure of a node for a threaded binary tree now if you see uh, this structure it looks something like this there is a left part there is a L tag there is a data part there is a R tag and there is a right part ok and this left part is going to store the address of the left subtree this right part is going to store the address of the right subtree okay now the question is how, how why we are using this l tag and why we are using this r tag okay so this l tag and r tag are only going to store two numbers which is 1 and 0 so instead of int you can even use a boolean variable or bool okay so when we say if l tag is equal to 0 that means uh, this uh, this node is not having any left subtree ok so if l tag is equal to so if l tag is equal to 1 that means this node is having a left subtree ok now if I write if l tag r tag is equal to 0 that means this node is having a uh, uh, is not having a right subtree and if r tag is equal to 1 that means this node is having a right subtree ok and how this uh, binary, thread binary tree looks like with this let us see in a, with an example now in a thread binary tree we are going to use a dummy node so this is a dummy node ok for every node uh, there is a left pointer there is a L tag there is a data part there is a R tag and there is a right pointer ok so this dummy node the left part of this dummy node is always going to po point to the root of the given tree ok so assume that we are having this node this is the root node actually ok so for this root node uh, if it is having a left subtree then L tag will be 1 and if it is having a right subtree then L tag will be uh, R tag will be 1 ok so assume this is a root node and these are the parts 
and this part is storing the address of the left subtree and this part is storing the address of the right subtree so in the, in the left subtree we are having this node in the right subtree we are having this node okay and assume the storing uh, node is storing some data uh, so the data is one so it is having a left subtree therefore this l tag will be one it is having a right subtree therefore this r tag will also be one okay now for this node uh, there is a left subtree which is this and assume this node is not having a right subtree and for this node there is a left subtree which is this and there is a right subtree which is this okay now here in these cases assume this node is storing some data 2 this node is storing the data 3 this node is storing the data 4 it is storing 5 and this, it is storing 6 now this node is having a left subtree therefore the l tag will be 1 and it is not having a right subtree therefore the r tag will be 0 for this node there is a, a not uh, we don't have any left subtree or right subtree therefore l tag will be 0 and the r tag will be 0 right and for this node there is no left and right subtree therefore the l tag will be 0 and the r tag will be 0 for this node also there is no left and right subtree therefore l tag is 0 and the r tag is 0 now for this node we are having both left and right subtree therefore l tag will be 1 and the r tag will be 1 ok so for this given tree uh, you can see this is the data part in every node this is the data part right now for this given tree if somewhere the r tag is or l tag is 0 then that node can point to a successor of that node or the predecessor of that node ok now let us find what is uh, the in order for this tree the in order is it will be 4 2, 1, 5, 3 and 6 ok now if you see this 4 there is no predecessor for this 4 therefore in this in this pointer we are going to store the address of the dummy node ok therefore it is going to point the dummy node now for this 4 the successor is 2 therefore this is going to point to this node right now for this node 2 uh, this l tag is actually 1 and the r tag is 0 so because r tag is 0 that means this space is empty so we can utilize this space so for this 2 the successor is 1 therefore this point is going to point to this uh, node which is storing 1 right now for this node which is 5 uh, the l tag is 0 and the r tag is 0 therefore uh, this left pointer and the right pointer both are null so for this 5 the predecessor is 1 and the successor is 3 therefore this should point to this node which is storing 1 and the successor is 3 therefore this point this node should point to this point this node okay now the next is 6 for 6 this 6 the l tag is 0 and the r tag is also 0 so we have to identify what is the predecessor and successor for this so the predecessor is actually uh, for this 6 the predecessor is 3 right therefore it is going to point to this node and there is no successor so in the end what we are going to do is this point is actually going to point to this dummy node ok and in this dummy node uh, its l tag is utilized and its r tag will be utilized because this point is going to point to itself ok so this is the node of a threaded binary tree right